Hi everyone. So today we are going to discuss how to create supplier in accounts payable system. So that is a topic. Actually, the supplier creation is the most critical part. Critical in the sense, like it is the most important uh, uh, task in the accounts payable to uh, to create suppliers in order to record in the supplier activities in the application day to day business activities. So here I'm going to show you that how to create supplier and the supplier site and the addresses, how to assign supplier site to business unit and what is the uh, important setups are there. So these things you will work through the application to understand the uh, end-to-end process flow. Yeah. Once you log into application, so first of all, we need to have uh, the procurement access. Once we have the procurement access, navigate to procurement, click on suppliers. This is the main screen where you can see the other supplier uh, related information. Each session should be have a different kind of like, you know, understanding of. Go to task. Here you can see there are uh, multiple tabs are there. So here we're going to create a supplier create supplier and uh, give the name vision supplier name and business relationship is that spent authorization so if you're not selecting spent authorization as a supplier business relationship then we cannot able to create uh, we can create invoices, but like uh, there would be power, not possible to, to make a payments, right? So that's where like you know, always you should select as spent authorization and tax or uh, task. Sorry, Ta tax organization type is that you can choose based on your need. For now, I am selecting as corporation, and tax country is that United States of America. And once these fields are create uh, provide the information. Just go and click on create tab. So it will take a while to create a supplier here. Yeah. So this is the next form where you can see supplier information. So we will walk through one by one. Profile, address, site, contact, and qualifications. So these are the five tabs are very important while we creating the suppliers. So if you look, if you look at under profile option, we can see general and then additional information, profile details, and again the profile uh, profile details have the different tabs over here, and the down you can see match history also, right? So here the major thing is that supplier details, so which already be given here, and the, if you want you can give the suppliers type also, which type of uh, the suppliers belongs to. Let's say example, if it is utility, then you can provide the utility. And if at all, if you want to enact the supplier where the supplier is not going to making any business with you in the future, then we can go and we can provide the inactive date over here to enact to the suppliers. And in this form, just you can see the, the parent supplier, if any other suppliers you want to tag to this main supplier that we can uh, provide over here and uh, creation date creation source sources manually ideally in the real day world so the suppliers will not be created manually there would be some kind of like an mdm team will be there mdm is stand for master data management team this team should have the all the capabilities to create supply in the application and then or else they will try to integrate from the third party applications where the uh, the vendors are already available in the different source application and then they will integrate to uh, integrate to fusion application so that's where it is we can see that the real time if you go and look at the if you go and query the supplier if you see the creation sources it would be as a uh, application source name or as imported so that's where, from there we can understand either this supplies created through manual or through imported. And here, business classifications and the products and services, transaction tax, income tax payments. If you go and click on payments, 
So here you can choose the, the payment methods. What are the payment methods we have? So these are majority things, sir, as a seeded things, which are already provided to us. And if at all you want to make any custom pay, payment methods, then we can go to create over here and then we can ascend to them. And if you want to keep any of the payment method as a stand or default, then select the particular method here and uh, click on circle tab to make it as a defaulted. So this is how we can set it as a default payment method while creating invoices. And here you can see another tab called as a bank accounts and payment attributes. So if the supplier is having the, their own bank account where we can transfer money to them when we make the online payment, uh, ACH payments, then you can use this bank account as well as while you make a payment through online, that the time you should be required. Now we don't have any to create it. If you want to create, you can go ahead and click on here to create the bank accounts and payment attributes as well as. So this is the payment attributes which can give the more flexibility to the suppliers to send different kind of I mean, like you know, remittance advice details. Uh, it means that when you are making a payment against the supplier transactions, I mean, to say supplier invoices, then automatically the email will go to the supplier email contact details says that these are the payment is going to be making to against your existing invoices that from there yeah so here you can select the delivery channel so you can select which other things we needed and provide it right and the uh, payment specifications and uh, separate remittance advice so this is the very very important uh functionality i would say in other, in other words because as i mentioned that remittance advice delivery method which method you want to send the remittance to your suppliers so there are four ways we have email and fax printed email with pdf attachment so here i would select as email with pdf copy yeah that's all and go to the address tab is sorry i think we need to provide the email id yes you can use some common email id and click on address tab so address here this is nothing but a supplier where it is located let's say example in uh, in us let's say example like you know the supplier is belongs to maryland location so in that just go and create the address over here it says that So if you already have the any seeded things you want to select it, you can go ahead and select it or you can go and create new address details over here. So now I'm going to provide the Maryland. Maryland is the one of the location which is there in the US. United States of America and Maryland again. Just I'm giving example purpose. And city is Maryland again. Just I'm giving this information because of the demo purpose. But in the real time, you should have the proper details from the respective department so that we can provide the right information while creating invoice uh, or creating suppliers over here. And language. If you want to select in language, yes, we can select it, American language and purpose. So this is another tab is, which is important. So what is the purpose to have this address in the application? So what we are going to do this uh, with the address either ordering or remit to or uh, rfq request for quotation or bidding right so you can choose any of them based on your need and this fields also is option, optional fields which we need to uh, maybe like you, know, you can provide or not required at all so once we provide this information just try to save the record here it may throw error okay fine not throwing and <clears throat> site so here you can create a site Yep, procurement view and uh, site. So this which already given uh, here, right? So that is what it is taking here. And again, transaction tax, contacts, payments. 
if you want to add any additional information over here, you can add those things here again. So let's say example, payments. So here also you can take it out. So check is the default payment method. So save and close. Save and save and close. Yeah. So now we have created only address. And now under the site, so the site, if you want to access the site tab, the specific suppliers, we need to have the procurement agent role. If you don't have the procurement agent role, we shouldn't be able to access this page at all. So that is a keep in mind is a mandatory access. We need to get the procurement agent role in the application. So once you go and click on site, just select the site. One supplier can have the multiple sites. If there is no any limitation kind of like, you know, I need to have only one or two, it's not. At least one is minimum, max is the based on the supplier locations. Click on edit. Yeah. So this is the key setups under the sites. Here you can see a uh, site alternative names and uh, etc. And go to the purchasing. So how you're going to control in the purchasing details over here. So if you look at here, communication method is that these are the standard things we have and uh, required acknowledgement. If you go and select it here, that uh, uh, based on that, we will act on it. And um, uh, shipping method and uh, flight terms, these things we need to, if you want, you can uh, select anything, pay and reset. This is another functionality where we can create like, you know, if you want to make a payment based on the uh, reset, right? If you want to do, uh, uh, enable, just you can enable it. And this similarly like this, all the, all the functionalities, we can see that. And receiving. So this is another tab, which it, it will be controlling the river receiving activities. Ship to exception. But ideally, these things like would be taken care by uh, supplier, uh, sorry, supply chain management team, ideally, but as being as a finance function consultant also should aware of it, how these things are going to be impact while creating the suppliers and invoice invoicing so this is another controls where you can uh, control the invoices so by selecting the invoice uh, currency and invoice uh, amount limit so let's say example if you want to like you know control this uh, particular supplier or uh, there is a limitation of the amount you can control over there and invoice match option so uh, how you're going to match the invoices against PO, either uh, order or reset or uh, like that and uh, match approval level, which level you want, two-way, three-way, four-way. So ideally two-way will be represent about the PO and invoice. And three-way is that PO, invoice and receiving. And four-way four matching is that uh, PO, receiving, oh, sorry, PO, receiving, invoice and uh, uh, inspections also, right? So that's what like you, know, you can choose. You, if you want, you can choose whichever one you want based on the client requirement. Similarly, you can see other tabs also. If you want to defaulted payment terms while creating your invoices, you can provide, you can choose the any of the terms over here. And save. Here you can see, you need to select pay also because we're going to make a payment against supplier invoices as well, right? So, so on close. Go to again here, I missed the one, one of the setup. Sub site assignment, this is most important actually. Add, you can add. client view and billing view. So you can select the both the things. If you want to make different things also, we can choose it. And ship to location, build to location, and here. So liability, if you want to see ideally, when we create a invoices, right? So liability code, code of combination will be pulling from the supply site level itself only. The, the, that is the first option to pull the liability code of combination while creating invoices. And the second would be your, your financial options over there. 
So if you want, you can provide here liability. Uh, if you want to default the liability code combination, you can provide over here. Uh, similarly, repayment uh, distribution and bills payables and distribution set. Let's say example, since it is a utility supplier, so that like, you know, you can uh, set as default uh, distribution set. Let's say example, you want to use any specific code combination to track your uh, utility transactions on daily basis or monthly basis, then you can create a distribution set and assign it here, over here. So that is what it is here. Yeah. So once you assign the business unit to your site, so just imagine, just you can keep in mind when the moment when you assign the business unit to your uh, site, say it's kind of inter uh, internally. I mean to say like you know, it's, it is interlinked with the all your supplier address and the sites and supplier name all together, right? So that's where it is like you know, supplier site is the very very key uh, function. And it's a key setup as well as save and save and close. So contacts, contacts, nothing but like, you know, just we can uh, uh, make sure that which other contacts you want to add it over here, you can add them or you can ignore it. And the qualifications also similarly. So as a assessments and qualifications, you based on your need, you can go ahead and like, you know, we can create the qualifications or else we can ignore actually but ideally uh, based on the client requirement we can add them or, or else it, it's not required at all so this is how we can create a supplier in the fusion application so once the supplier created so what you have to do it just go and check it either our supplier is created or not created appropriately Yes, our supplier is created over here. Using supplier. Yeah. So this is how we can create suppliers in the Fusion application. It's a manual. So next class, we will discuss how to import suppliers from the FBD template or third party applications. Thanks for watching my video. Please do subscribe. Thank you.